<sighs> All right. <clears throat> well, I guess it's time to go ahead and check and see what progress the subs have been getting up to, shall we? Le YouTube. Ah, something like that again. Why is there always something in my eye when I'm about to work? It makes me a sad panda. Okay, and today's count is... Y'all just couldn't even give me a week, could you? Shit. <laughs> How's it going, Radical Viewers? Grim getting right back into another Legends of the West video and a fantastic announcement. I went ahead and pitched y'all a goal of 250 subs by the start of January. You all went and beat that within half a week. I filled out that goal. Uh, next time I gotta set that to 100. Anyway, as I promised, let's go ahead and drop some actual money on this game, shall we? I know there are a bunch of people out there that are immediately cringing because microtransactions and yeah, I'm there with you, but frankly, it's Rockstar. I want you to tell you how much money I sunk into Grand Theft Auto V Online. That all said, let's do a quick jump cut real quick and uh, gain us about 350 extra gold bars for online stuff. Catch you in a moment. And there you have it. 350 gold bars. I'm not going to be doing this again for a while. <laughs> that all said, that should have a set for some of the online stuff. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and throw this video in there, shall we? Let's go ahead and do the ever-so-infamous Clint Eastwood outfit that, well, kind of helped start this entire channel, oddly enough, and really got it going. Let's go buy some stuff and see what we can make, shall we? My apologies for all the cutaways. I literally just went and <laughs> went through everything and... Uh, try to see what was best to make this. Now, all enough, this is an interesting outfit to try to do online, primarily because I have a lot of what I need, and I'm missing one of the things I wish I could get from the single player, and that's the vest. That said, this is a fairly good interpretation, I like to think. And, of course, everything comes in such a varied of colors, and everyone's screen looks a little different, and every screenshot, and every freaking time I've seen the movie, everything looks a little different. So most of this is dealer choice when it comes to colors, but I think this has the idea down for you to just get a good start on it. And as usual, as with my single player stuff, I'm gonna start off with the hat. Of course, the classic stalker. And of course my colors glitch out. Now his is a fairly dark brown, which we do have some options for. I went with this just because I kind of prefer the lighter stuff. It's a little bit more uniform. There is a darker brown for it on the online component, I do believe. And there's also just flat black, but that looks way too clean. Way, way too clean. Then I can use this hat for other outfits. So I went with it. Then next, we're going to move down to Thank You God Neckwear, where we actually have a narrow neckerchief, which actually fits the frickin' part. <laughs> we have a myriad of colors and a couple of other outfits I'll probably do in the future. It comes in red, but for his, the man with no name, from a fistful of dollars, we're going with flat black. Next. No coats, vests. This was kind of hard to pin down because there is the buckskin vest, which is in single player and it does kind of sell the part, but because this is available and does have that nice fur lining to it, I went with it. And it also comes in a myriad of colors from darker brown to lighter. I bought both of these simply because there's going to be another outfit in the future featuring this vest. That's also the reason I bought it in blue, oddly enough. I swear, there's a reason I'm spending the gold that you all just earned for the channel on something for the channel, I promise. This isn't just my own personal stuff. Okay, it's kind of my personal stuff because I love doing this. But no, 
Shapes can invest in either the lighter or darker brown tans, dealer's choice. We don't have a poncho, sadly, even online, so we're still very much boned on getting the outfit down perfectly. Damn it, Rockstar. For shirts, much like single player, we have the everyday shirt in a nice light blue. Ignore the suspenders, we're not gonna see them, so I'm not counting them. No gloves, buckles. <laughs> I mean, if you wanna throw a buckle down to show off your little achievements, by all means. I personally only really like one of them, and that's the six shooter buckle, just because that was a pain to get. Weapon equipment's kind of interesting. Most of you guys are probably not gonna be able to get a lot of this stuff right out of the gate, unless you're spending gold on it. But if you want to put in the time and the effort for something that kind of looks the part of a worn out gunslinger, I actually do kind of recommend my first purchase, the Dead Boot Holster and its accompanying offhand holster. And a brown, of course. I, I have black because I didn't want to run from Blackwater all the way to Valentine just to buy the damn things, or Tumbleweed for that matter. But the Dead Boot Holster in a fairly nice shade of brown would really sell the look. Now another fun part, as I have to scroll back up to find what I'm looking for, thank you game, pants. We don't have jeans in online, and I don't know why that is. What we do have, however, is the studded pants and the bandito pants. Both kind of sell the look. I went with the studded pants just because they look close to the jeans in black. Bandito pants can work and it does come in a myriad of other options if you want to play around with uh, maybe being on the trail a little bit longer than everyone else so yours looks a little bit more dirty. If you want the actual dark blue, I think his actually is. But for the closest look I have to single player, I went with studded pants in black. No chaps for boots. I love that they did this. I went with the worn Roper boots, which actually come in the color I needed. This nice little delightful light tan color. For spurs, I don't think I actually did anything with this, to be honest. I did not. He does wear spurs, I believe. Yes, he does. And that's why I actually bought these, because I was thinking to the future. The gird on spurs. Kind of a darker brown, or lighter brown, but either's choice. That's essentially it. That would be our man with no name. With a beard, because I got lazy and didn't want to shave. <laughs> uh, it's a fairly fine look, I won't lie. I like it. I dig it a lot. Okay. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for the amazing support. I definitely want to thank you all for hitting 250 subs and it's still going. Holy crap. For getting one of my videos over to its freaking 6k mark and a few others into the multiple thousand marks. Holy crap, you guys blow me away. I <laughs> Like I was happy to do this for you all. I really was and I was stoked to just have any validation of an excuse to do it other than I wanted to do it. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, throw a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and by all means, check down in the description for the current requests that are taken, and if yours isn't on there yet, make one of your own in the comments. Uh, I digress though. Till next time kids, where we're gonna try Red Harlow next. Take care now, and bye bye then.